Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger Ashford Asylum Suicidal. Since the last episode, my 7-Eleven delivery has come. I got my uh, my little pizza. It had uh, it had jalapenos on it, which I was not expecting. I ordered a uh, Italian salami, or Italian, yeah, Italian salami and uh, hot chorizo um, pizza. I was expecting that to be all that was on it with the you know the cheese and the pizza sauce, but uh, it came with jalapenos as well and onions. Not super desirable in my opinion. I'm not a fan of the jalapenos, honestly. Um, for me, jalapenos are just gross. It's not about the heat. I don't find jalapenos hot. Like I can eat an entire jalapeno, and it, like it, it's not that hot. You know, like I, I eat a lot of hot food. Um, I grew up eating hot food. It, it's just. Yeah, you feel it, but like it doesn't. It doesn't get me like, you know. It's just like ah, oh, that's kind of hot. But it's not. It's not like unpleasantly hot. You know what I mean? It's just. It's just a jalapeno. It's not. It's nothing too big. A lot of people get super uh, worked up over jalapenos, though. Um, excuse me. Goodness gracious. Um, one of my old friends, actually. He uh he had a jalapeno once and ended up in like the the bathroom like throwing up. He just couldn't handle the heat. And I'm like I just I don't see it you know. Like I don't find it to be that that spicy. Um, but regardless, I picked them out because I don't like the flavor. I I think that jalapenos just taste gross. They're they're just like a weird bitter grossness. It's not it's not pleasant. But in more important news, I did get my uh, my Doritos. I have a, uh, a barbecue Dorito in my hand here. I'm going to taste it on camera. I've never had one before. And I was given it instead of my Zesty. So I need to make sure it's good. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'm into that. It's like... um, It's got... Have you ever had... Um, like old Dutch barbecue. Um, I, th I think Doritos is owned by Frito Lay anyway, right? And old Dutch is like a separate thing. But if you've ever had old Dutch barbecue chips, maybe they are owned by the same people. I don't know. It, it tastes like exactly what you would expect a Dorito to taste like with the old Dutch barbecue, like flavoring on it. It's good. It's got like a, a mild heat to it, and. Uh, like this, this fake smoky flavor. I like it. I definitely prefer uh, zesty to it, but uh, it's it's it, it passes the test of yeah. I can munch on this in my uh, when I have time, when I have uh, time to, to sit down and watch a video or something like that. I, I I this 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 passes the test. I'll finish that chip at the end of the video, I suppose. After the video, I don't want to get too much crunching in the video. You know what I mean? But I had to, I had to, I had to taste it at least. The pizza was fine. The pizza was fine. Um, after I took the, uh, my god. After I took the jalapenos off, the, it was fine. It came with uh, two pieces of chorizo and or chorizo. I like I when I, I I talked about it recently, but like I pronounced chorizo as chorizo, chorizo, right? And um, like that's how I say it, you know. That's how I was raised as a Portuguese individual, and that's how I that's how I say it. But when I'm thinking of like Italian or, or Spanish or or whatever, like you know, chorizo that comes from not Portugal, I I, I want to call it like chorizo. I don't know why. Then I end up like butchering it, like chorizo or something like that. Like I just I end up doing it wrong. It's it's I just I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but it came with uh, with like two pieces of, uh, of hot chorizo on it, and. Um, Three little Italian salamis, which really just looked like uh, normal salamis to me. But yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a, a salami connoisseur. And uh, it, it was fine, you know. It was fine. I like their dough. Their dough is like super doughy. It's a, it, they're the, the 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 pizza dough that they have. Just it, it's very. It, like I, I just I like it. It's it's like a good bread. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it tastes it tastes nice, and their sauce is uh, is fine. The 
cheese that the amount of cheese they use and the cheese that they use is, is both fine as well. Their pizzas are fine. It's just I literally got two pieces of chorizo on it and uh, three tiny little pieces of salami. <laughs> so it doesn't it doesn't get a glowing recommendation from me, but I enjoyed the pizza anyway. It was not worth five dollars. Five dollars is what I paid for. It was not. It was not worth five dollars. I could have got way more pizza for five dollars and better pizza too if I ordered from somewhere else. But uh, again, it's just you know sometimes you just you want something that's not necessarily the greatest thing around just because that's what you want. You know, it's okay. I am excited to eat these uh, these barbecue Doritos though. They are pretty good. I do quite like them. Pleasant surprise. It was either that or Cool Ranch were my options, uh, or normal. Plain Doritos is not that good, in my opinion, okay? I don't like plain Doritos that much. They're okay, but like, nah. Not worth eating, you know what I mean? They're just, they're, they, don't, they don't pass the, yeah, this is worth the, like, calories that I'm eating, you know? They don't, they don't pass that test, normal, normal Doritos. Zesty do, barbecue do, Cool Ranch I don't like either. Um... Cool Ranch is worse than normal Doritos, but normal Doritos are already, you know, in the inedible phase. Or in the inedible category, rather. Um, not good. But the barbecue ones are fine. I like them. I like them quite a bit, actually. I'm glad it happened. Regardless, it was a nice dinner. I had, uh, had a little bit of salmon and a couple of onion rings earlier as well. We had uh, we had that for dinner, but like I'll, I'll be straight with you. A, t a small little piece of salmon, and uh, when 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 they make stuff like that, right? My my go-to, honestly, is like don't eat much of it, so that I have leftovers in the fridge that I can then make something better with. You know, you know, because because. Uh, I didn't, I didn't waste so much of the salmon there, because the salmon tasted fine. It was good salmon. Like, it tasted good. Um, it just, like, it was just salmon and a couple of onion rings. Like, there was nothing else that I've, uh, that I've eaten today. Um, we have, we have some, like, Genoa, hot Genoa salami in the fridge that, uh, that I can munch on if I wanted, but it's, it's like a tube of salami, you know? I have to, like, slice it. And, uh, no thank you. <laughs> Too much effort. Too much effort. Um, put that on some crackers or something. It's good. It's just uh, it's too much effort for me right now. I've already had a long day, you know. Um. Anyway, anyway. So now I've got uh, salmon in the fridge. I have a bit of uh, of crab from leftovers on the uh, Christmas dinner, and I've got. Uh, I think, I think there's like a, a steak that's left over in the fridge as well. And I'm like, yeah, this is a recipe for a really, really nice like surf and turf um, stir fry, honestly. Like a really good surf and turf stir fry. Like the, the, I, I was actually quite, I was actually quite shocked. My father actually uh, cooked the steaks on the barbecue reasonably well. They were actually medium to maybe medium rare-ish in some parts. The thing about cooking it on a, in a grill is, um, you, uh, like, you just, you don't get as even cook through, you know? Um, so it's, it's not as good as the one that I had, but it's, uh, it was, it was actually impressive how, 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 how well he did it. They don't normally do that. They normally cook it well done. Um, so I was, I was quite surprised. And I believe that steak is left in the fridge. You know, you, you can slice that up into... Thin strips or long strips or something, I don't know. Um, there's a little bit of crab, a bit of salmon. Throw it all together into like uh, some fried rice with uh, like some peppers on the side. And um, yeah, like that's 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 a or even into the stir fry with the peppers, but probably on the side. And uh, yeah, that, that's that's a that's a banging dinner right there in my opinion. Nice salad or something. That's that's a good dinner. You don't need too much crab, you know. We don't. We, don't, we only have like a, a small, small part of it. It's, it's enough for like me to have crab for dinner, 
or you know one person to have crab for dinner not enough for like four people to have it but in a stir fry I feel like you can kind of get away from that and kind of um because you know, it's got it's got quite a bit of flavor in there you, you could have something quite good I think without uh needing too too much crab could be fine that could make a pretty good dinner in my opinion and the steak's pretty big so you don't need like the whole thing for for four people I mean, it's not the the main focus, right? Like they were big steaks. Money, anyone? It was. Uh, I overate on Christmas Day. We'll say it that way. I overate just because I ate the entire steak. It was an enormous steak, but it, I, I, it was good, and it was Christmas Day. So I, I, you know, there there were a few days of the year where I just don't care about uh, about my diet. I don't feel, you know, like I uh, I'm fat. So evidently, I mean, I'm losing weight now, but. Um, you know, evidently there most days I didn't really care, you know, <laughs> uh, but there are some days where I just don't feel guilty for overeating and, uh, Christmas is one of those. Um, another one is Thanksgiving. Uh, another one is my birthday and the fourth and final day that I just don't care is Halloween. On, on those four days, I will eat as much as I want of whatever I want, and I, just, I, don't, I won't feel guilty. Any other day, I will feel guilty, at the very least, about overeating. Um, but on those four days, I'm like, yep, you're allowed to do whatever you want. I don't care. You know, because ultimately, that's a sustainable diet, okay? Four days a year where you're just, like, allowing yourself freedom on the, on the food side of things is fine. You know? Halloween, because I want to eat uh, chocolates and candies and... You know, all, all the treats and stuff that you get on Halloween. You know, I can't say no to all that. I don't want to. Um, Thanksgiving, because, like, I mean, what? How, how many people are eating a reasonable amount of food on Thanksgiving? Like, just, like, come on. Come on. Really? You, you, you eat a reasonable amount of turkey? Really? I doubt it. I doubt it. You know, you get all the gravy, the mashed potatoes. Like, there's just so much, like, fat and... Um carbs and everything that you like they just, you know there's breads and like it's, you just you, you got you got to give it up <laughs> you gotta just accept that uh that thanksgiving's gonna go a little overboard um my birthday because uh my birthday is the day a year where i get to like totally splurge buy whatever i want make whatever i want like this year i had fried chicken and waffles and i tell you i ate a lot of fried chicken and uh <clears throat> definitely went over my calorie goals for the day but like i haven't had like I, i've had fried chicken like homemade fried chicken anyway like twice this year i've had you know like chicken tenders or something but like proper fried chicken like twice this year like it's it's not a everyday thing you know like it's fine um and then uh what's the other one Christmas is one of them. Yeah. Christmas, because, uh, it's Christmas, dude. I don't want to worry about, like, calories when I'm suffering on Christmas. You know, I already I got enough to worry about. Um, Christmas Eve also kind of counts as, as Christmas to me. Christmas Eve and Christmas, because I, I celebrate both days. Um, but, like, typically we have, like, a big breakfast, which I wasn't included in this year. Um... And then, like, a big dinner, which I was included in this year, although I made my own because, uh, I got to make my own. I was, I was, I was grateful. They normally, they normally don't let me. So, uh, I was happy they did. They did try to, like, get me to put it on the grill and, like, get them to barbecue it. And I'm like, no, I don't want to barbecue the steak. You're going to ruin it. <laughs> I want to make the steak way better, you know? I wish I had some, some time, like, some fresh time. I used to grow time, but I killed it. Anyway, those are the four days a year where I just won't feel guilty. Other days I will at least feel guilt, okay? I'm not saying I don't overeat on other days, too. I'm just saying that, uh... I, I'm, I'm not gonna get upset about overeating on those days. I just... I, I, I wrote them off a long time ago. You know? And I am losing weight now. So I'm, I'm on track. Vaguely. Vaguely. Um... Be better once I uh, go grocery shopping again and get some proper food and stuff. But uh, weight's weight's slowly coming off. 
which is good. Um, hey. But, uh, yeah, it's, um, I don't even remember what I was talking about, dude. I'm tired. Right, yeah, no, those those are the four days where I just don't care. Like, I just, I don't care. You know, any, like, any other day, like, Easter, it's not like, well, it's Easter, so I'll eat whatever I want. It's my mother's birthday, so I'll eat whatever. No, no, those are the four days. Okay. Though Those are the four days where I just, I don't care. So, yeah, I ate a lot of, uh, of steak on Christmas, but it falls into the I don't care day, so... I didn't eat a lot this Christmas Eve either, so it kind of balances out, almost. Well, and I, I eat like it doesn't balance out. <laughs> that's that's uh, hyperbole. I eat a uh, reasonable amount of food on Christmas Eve. I did not eat too much on Christmas Eve. Which I normally do, because uh, as, as I've explained in a recent video, it's... Uh, it's a day that I look forward to the food. We get a lot of uh, traditional Portuguese food typically, and it was uh, not the case this year. We had some uh, chadis, but that's like standard food in this house. So it's not really a tradition. I'm, I'm looking for more of like uh, like a soup or stew or or something. You know, those are the kinds of things I like. We have uh, a soup that we make uh, here all the time. Well, not all the time. My, my mother only makes it when somebody's sick because apparently it helps with uh, getting better. It doesn't. Just, just to be clear, it doesn't. Um, but that's that's why we make it. You know, it doesn't help when you're sick though. But we make it when we're sick, so we get to eat it when we're sick. So I like getting sick because of that. Um, but. It's uh, we I don't know. It's chicken rice soup. It, it sounds it, it is exactly what it sounds like. It's chicken and rice and water, <laughs> basically. Uh, it's really good though. But I uh, I want to learn how to make it and then kind of uh, improve on it. Cause there are a lot of things that uh, that just aren't being done because like you know you stick with the the recipe the the tradition with it you know it's been passed down through the family. I'm sure if you like go Google chicken rice soup, you'd probably find like basically exactly the same recipe because it's not complicated, but like it, it's a recipe that's been handed down through the family. Um, so when we make it, we just make it as the, uh, as the, uh, as you know, my mother's mother made it and as her mother made it and you know, down the line, right? Even, even though it's like just literally just chicken, onion, rice and chicken broth. <laughs> it's not... It's not a complicated thing. I could probably make it, but I want to learn the, uh, the right way to make it. Because you, you can make it better, you know? You don't have to stick to tradition. You can you can improve things. I'm thinking some uh, homemade broth would be good. We don't really make homemade broth too often here. I like I like making broth. I mean, it's a simple thing to do, and it's like really, really rewarding because it tastes so much better. Um, but uh, we don't really do it here. I mean, it's, 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 it's easy to make kind of hard to get the stuff to make it though you know what I mean like you can go to the store and you can buy like a liter of chicken broth for like a buck you, you can't really make a liter of chicken broth for a dollar you know as a, as, as just a regular old Joe you know you can't really do you can't really do that um so you, you gotta kind of like use leftovers and like make what you got right you can't you can't really just like make chicken broth unless you want to go spend money to buy ingredients to make chicken broth with but that's expensive you know it, it costs I don't know you may maybe you can kind of get like close to the same but it's just it doesn't even come close to as uh, like affordable you know as just going to the store and buying a, a box of broth you know or like a bouillon cube cube or whatever it's it's just so so much more um, affordable to do it that way, even though it doesn't taste nearly as good. But that's you know sometimes you gotta make the and it's not as good for you either. There's like so much sodium in them. That's why they taste it all good. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, that's that's one thing you know you can make homemade broth for it. That'd be a big improvement. That's probably, you know, what the recipe initially was when it was 
being handed down through the family, and it's kind of been replaced by just any old broth. Um, so, you know, so you, people often simplify their traditional recipes, but they never complicate them. You know, like, people often take in a, a traditional recipe and be like, "Well, I can kind of replace the chicken broth with just some boxed broth." I can. I don't really have that kind of rice. I I've got jasmine though. I've got you know. And it's just like, well, you know, you're kind of just simplifying. And, uh, you know, it's fine, but, uh, I, just, I, I find it amusing when, when people are like, well, we can't change it because it's, it's our, it's our traditional, uh, recipe, you know? And I'm like, you've already changed it a lot. <laughs> you can't, you can't really think that's what it was like, you know, t you know, three, four generations ago or something, right? No way. No way. They didn't go to the store and buy box broth. They didn't, uh, Who's short of cash? you know, it, it, it was it was a much more involved process to make anything. Maybe like five generations, six generations ago. Well, in my family, probably, um, even just like two generations ago, my grandparents uh, immigrated from from Portugal. So, and back then it was. Uh, I'd I'd be surprised if many people were going to the store and buying you know Campbell's uh, chicken broth. I'd be I'd be very surprised. Back then in Portugal, you know, hundred years ago or something. <laughs> I'd be I'd be very surprised. Uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like, subscribe to see more of the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.